Upon the Flying Bunny. Today's story is Pon the Flying Bunny. But wait, do bunnies fly? You're right. Well, shall we listen and see what it's all about? Let's begin. Pong was a little bunny who lived with a family in a nice home. One day, Pong was looking up at the sky as he munched on some food. It was a little girl who took care of Pong every day. On the bench in the backyard, she fed him while Pong sat on her lap. Pong loved this time of the day with her, being stroked by her gentle hands while his tummy filled up with delicious food. Then Pon heard the doorbell ring. Ding dong! Someone was at the door. Then her mother called for her. The little girl held Pon in her arms and went inside the house from the back door. Pon saw that there were many girls dressed up in pretty dresses with their arms full of things of various shapes. What could they be? Pon peeked through the girl's arms. Cakes, boxes, flowers, and... Then Pon was taken by something right in front of him. They were so mysterious. Soft, round, and floaty. Pon got closer to it. <laughs> sniff, sniff. Hmm, that's weird. It moves, but it's not a creature. Happy birthday! The friends shouted together cheerfully. The girl is smiling so happily. It seems like it's the girl's birthday today. Then they all carried everything to the backyard and started to play games and exchange presents. It looked like so much fun. Meanwhile, Pom munched on some grass, sniffed the boxes of presents one by one, and poke them a little to see what it might be. But he could not stop thinking about that mysterious round and floaty thing that got tied to the sofa. He timidly drew closer to it, inch by inch. He tugged on the string and pulled it towards him. It followed him, but if he lets go, it goes up toward the sky again. Very mysterious. Uh-oh, Pong thought to himself. He was having so much fun playing around that when he pulled it, the string got cut off. He quickly bit on the string and stopped it from flying away. I have to tell the girl. Just then, a strong gust of wind blew. Whoosh! All of a sudden, Pong was up in the air. He got scared and closed his eyes, but... Then he felt so light, floaty, floaty. He had never felt this sensation before. It was different from when he was being carried by the girl. Floaty, floaty. He went up and up higher into the sky. The girl's house got farther and farther away. I wonder, can I go anywhere I want? Pon tried to walk. It worked. He was moving forward. Pon's eyes sparkled in delight. Wow, I must be the first flying bunny in the whole wide world. Pon got so excited and tried walking in the air again and again. The vast scenery opened up below him. Birds, dandelion fuzz, airplanes, they all said hello to him. How wonderful it feels to fly! The sun was warm just like the girl, and the clouds were soft just like her bed. How much time has passed? The sky had turned orange. Pon thought, I should probably get home. He missed the girl. 
Pong was laughing and giggling so much until then that he breathed in so much fresh air. But suddenly, he thought about the girl. How worried she must be. Then he felt so heavy in his heart and sighed. Oh. Then slowly, slowly, he began to descend. From the top of the cloud, he could see the town, then his house below. Welcome home, Pon! The girl was waiting for him, looking up with her arms open wide to catch Pon. Floaty, floaty, floaty. Catch! The girl held Pon tightly in her arms. Oh, I'm so glad you're back. Relieved, Pon suddenly felt tired and closed his eyes in the comfort of the girl's arms. This is the best place in the world. Then they walked back to her bedroom. Seems like they will both get a good night's sleep tonight. This is the end of today's story. Now, do you know what the round and floaty thing was? Good night. See you again tomorrow.